They're all telling me in the YouTube comment section. Give up. It's over. You can't win. Winter is here. And that's the end of it. Just accept that you're the king of Pentos and just move on. But no. No, my friends. We do not give up. We do not give up. How Stark Targaryen has not endured all these years. We've already worked our way up from the Duke of shit knows where to the king of here. So that is an impressive start, I think. We need to move on. We need to move past this. We need to forget everything that has happened with the dynasty. We are still playing as, of course, King Melis, Stark Targaryen, grandson of Jon and grandson of Daenerys. Probably a better way to say that, huh? 16 years of age. He's got the whole world ahead of him. No heir, so we're right on the edge. Total loss on succession. We're right on the edge. Uh, his wife has gonorrhea, which she probably got from being right on the edge. We'll have to deal with that one later. It doesn't matter. But she is a genius, though, so we're going to keep her around even if she's an, uh, an unfaithful. She's looking a bit pale. Could be anemia as well. Anyway, let's make this guy into the prince that was promised. Maybe, you know, that you, just saying, they're, it's very metaphorical. Game of Thrones is a very metaphorical series, right? Azor Ahai, supposedly, original Azor Ahai, supposedly made his flamey sword when he when he he'd stabbed his, his wife, Nissa Nissa, through the heart. Uh, stabbed her. It works better for this metaphor that I'm making. He stabbed her, and then Lightbringer was born. Maybe by John stabbing Daenerys, Lightbringer was born, but in the form of, of course, King Malus of Pentos. Maybe he is Lightbringer, uh, and he also worships for law, which is kind of interesting because we have, well, we have done that. I think we're going to flip to Valyrian still because I feel like that would suit our character a little bit more, and it has, it has creeped back into the family through bits and bobs, and I feel like, you know, that Pentos or, or the the, the law and the Valyrian religions are are. Fairly similar anyway, so I feel like maybe adopting Valyrian would, would also work not only well for the realm, but it works well for our character and the, the sort of history of Valyrian. We're essentially being Egg on the Conqueror of the Second. I think that'd be very, very fun. So we'll work on that if that comes up. But in the meantime, back to gameplay here. Let's go on a foreign tour. The second we can afford it, we're absolutely going to do that. We need to be 18. Um, we've got the gold for it. So the most expensive foreign tour, I believe, is 300 gold. You also probably want to save up a little bit more as well because, uh, you know, you get on the journey... Blacksmiths will offer to forge you weapons and armor. I don't think we need weapons, but I think we did lose Jamie Lannister's armor, didn't we? We did. Uh, our our previous character, I think, it was Liara of the Sunrise Road. Had to give it away so that she didn't die. Uh, so that Melis of Pentos could be born, because she would have been maimed while pregnant with him. So that was a good call in hindsight. I want to have an heir. Before we, before we head off on a foreign tour, we want to get an heir, right? Because simply down to the fact that... If he goes on a journey, they're dangerous, they're treacherous. The boat journey itself has a high chance of killing you. As we found out before with characters, they they, they have a, a high chance of killing you. It's like 22% or something like that, right? Uh, depending on what type of ship you take and some other stats as well. But they, they, they have a, 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 a non-insignificant chance of killing you. Not only that, but on the journey as well, you can be you know attacked in a bar and be killed. Or you can be attacked by Dothraki and killed or go missing permanently or anything like that. So we need to make sure we have an air before we head off. He's got two years. I'm sure that gives him plenty of time, right? Now, another comment I saw in yesterday's episode that I, I like that the... Wait, what? Archmaster? Oh, I thought the Archmaster then had become um, a Merchant Republic. That was very confusing. So I saw a comment yesterday that said, a, a great idea. Find where Drogon is and tame Drogon. Don't give a shit about any other of those dragons, because a lot of these other dragons, they're weak, they've been trained badly, because obviously the AI has been in charge of them. Grab Drogon, spec or, or specifically go for Drogon. If not, then go for a different dragon, but always try and get Drogon first, and I completely agree. So, Drogon, my character's uncle, apparently. Uncle Drogon, age 69. There's so much wrong with this. Where is he right now? In the Great Arm. So, what we should focus on doing is, is taking back the Great Arm, uh, which we can't, unless we retract it from... Kill him. Well, we were going to kill him anyway because he was a dick. I remember you. You took back, You took the great arm from us originally. If you remember, this was our regent. Our tyrannical... He's tyrant and dishonorable and craven, gluttonous arbitrary. This guy's going to be easy to murder. Very easy to murder. We're going to kill him off. We're going to take the great arm back. We're going to revoke it from this vassal as well. Um, or kill him off or just however it works because he's got a, a, only one son. So I assume we can just kill them both and we'll be good. Take that back. Try and tame Drogon when we have control of this. And plus, we want more provinces anyway. We've got one out of five domain size here. Because of our stewardship bonus, because we're a king, we can actually hold much more than your average Game of Thrones ruler. We've got 22... Yeah, we've got 22 stewardship. It's obviously massive. Good news. Your sister, Rael, is responding well to tuition. Not that we really care too much about that. Because she's a... Oh, she's a Stark Targaryen. She also has a dragon, which would be very good to keep her on board. We've betrothed her matrilineally to a Stark to keep the alliances and the blood strong. Um, and then, of course, the, the other Starks... 
actually betrayed us. So there's two different branches that start to go on. One that I believe descend from Aya, and one that descend from Bran. Or it was like Bran's kid split off into two houses, something like that. Um, but but one of them betrayed us, and one of them have, have sort of uh, stuck with being our friends. They've sort of backed us in the war. Okay. He actually managed to escape that. Holy shit. <clears throat> Kind of surprising there. Massive snake hunt is underway. But, I mean, we're going to have plenty of chances to kill him, right? Because he's just so disliked. Now, that was without bribing anyone. So, we could send out a little bit of gold here and there. 41 gold for another 11%. I think I, I can afford to be patient. We've got time to kill right now anyway. Because, like I said, we're not leaving court until we've uh, dealt with the whole dynasty thing. I'm going to send a money to this guy. And then we're going to put him on the council. Because that will make him likes even more. Let's also try and sway him as our, ch as our spy master. That seems like a good idea. We'll also make him designate a regent. We'll also chuck him some elephants as well. So, he would be jealous. Right, let's have um, Lord Ebros of Father's Hill. Let's have him build Spy Network in... I guess we'll just go for his capital. I was going to say maybe Scheme in Pentos or something like that. But no, we'll go for the, the capital here, which is the Lake of Mirth. This guy is way too powerful. He probably has more troops than us at his beck and call right now. Uh, not including our vassal troops, obviously. But in terms of... Well, obviously, he does in terms of land. Um, he actually mics. He's got a significant... I mean, look at that. He's got a huge chunk of Pentos there. Way more than us. It's split between... Pentoshi, Flatlands, Velvet Hills, and then a couple of sort of independent areas here and there. So, we definitely need to claw back a lot of power for ourselves. There we go. Lordy Bros, the man we just hired, our, our spy master, and the man that we're bribing. Uh, and Andal, Faith of the Seven, Westerosi man. He's going to send in the snake. Got him. Holy shit, that was lucky. Nice. We got him, and we got away with it too, which is huge. He is dead. We've inherited it all. That's incredible. Shall revert to the king, or we can give it to his widow. Now, unfortunately, because of the Game of Thrones, you are expected to give the land to any surviving family members. I'm going to take the five tyranny. Fuck it. Five tyranny is not too bad when we're fairly well liked. Well, we're not disliked. Let me phrase it like that. Obviously, because of the vassal management I've done over the past couple of episodes, we've got a lot of vassals that just like us quite a great deal. Uh, you are a good master. I was going to have you training troops to give us that levy size. You may also want to suppress revolts. Let me just check what we're looking at on that one. Um, yeah, not too bad. Nothing to worry about there, I would say. Uh, most is this one. And what is that at right now in terms of revolt risk? 3%. Really nothing to worry about. It, it's higher than I'd like, but it's really not a big deal. So we're going to have you oversee the realm. And you instead, uh, Master of Laws. He's not our best Master of Laws, but he is also a, a High Lord. So we do want to keep on side. I'm going to perform Statecraft. That is a chance of removing our tyranny. So we've gained back uh, the Lordship, which is good. Because it means we've got less... More vassals to worry about, but less... Big rebellious vassals. Now, this guy I want to deal with because he's a merchant republic. So, what we're going to do then is, can we, well, do we have any tarts we can actually revoke here? Uh, great arm, we actually have revocation rights over. So, we can just take that. Now, they can't because we do not have an high enough realm authority. That was what one of the wars were over. So, they overthrew her and reduced realm authority to minimum. So, actually, everyone's in support of that. That's good. I like that. Thank you. Very, very easy there. And then let's quickly grab this one. Since we have a comment on our vassals with an object, maybe, maybe, he says. Okay, uh, we'll see if that maybe becomes a, yeah, actually, I'm going to let you have that when we march uh, 5,000, 6,000 troops into his capital. So Lady Liara, who was, this was the trait of Stark I was talking about. So what is she? She's uh, Daenora Stark Targaryen, Osric Starks. So she is Grand Stark's granddaughter there. We're going to revoke her title because she is a traitor because she did obviously rise up against us. But she is our half-sister. Born of our mother's first marriage, so we definitely do not under any circumstances, want to execute her, because that will count as Kinslayer, which is the worst thing you can get in the Game of Thrones world. So what I'm going to do is, um, her, she's, she's got an agreement to go to Yi Ti, but obviously she's still in our prison, but her new leech has become the Fire Opal Emperor. So we could, in any other circumstance, execute her and be fine with it. We won't get any tyranny through this. We'll gain fear, but we will become a Kinslayer. Um, I'm going to ransom her off to, uh, oh no, she's got titles. I should not have done that. Um, she's got to climb on Pentos, specifically. She's probably going to come out with vengeance. Um, throw in the oubliette. <laughs> and hope that she dies. Shit, that was a mistake. Oh, I don't worry about it too much. Uh, that, that's like really inside baseball. She's also got Valyrian Steel Dagger. I don't think she'll be an issue. She's over... She actually might be too far away to interact with. Oh, no, she is. She's close enough. Somehow. God knows how, seeing as she's literally on the other side of the planet. But I don't even need to worry about it. She's in the ET. She's not going to have any friends over there. That's a completely different realm. My liege, there is a rumor here in the Lake of Mirth that one of the local nobles might be corrupt. Use it as you see fit. See what we've got. Excellent. Local noble here in the Lake of Mirth, Magister Joris of the Lake of Mirth, tried to silence me. Spread okay, so we can actually bring him home now. We don't need to uh, build Spy Network anymore. It's no, no point. Uh, we've taken the Lordship of Nontalos. Where is Nontalos then? Because we might want to keep that one. Uh, revert to the king. Oh, we have a claim on that then. We must do. Winterfell, Pentos. Oh, we can just take that one and it won't make us a tyrant. Okay. Or we could give someone a title. 
uh, naturally. What have we got? We've got... Who, who likes us the most? Because I, I, I kind of want to keep it, because obviously we, we're... Oh, we're 4 out of 5 on our lands now. Um, oh, that's with Nontalos. Shall revert to the king. Sorry, that's mine. We don't get any tyranny for that, because I guess they weren't in line to inherit. Anyway, plus... I don't know why we got to keep that one. I don't think we had a claim on it, did we? Oh, well, it doesn't matter too much. Right, so we want to take the Great Arm next, and then uh, when our troops are there, we are going to declare the war. All right, what have we got? Interesting. Cool. We don't really care about an interregnum in Lang, to my knowledge. Um, we did have a, a, so an option available there for about a second. God knows what. Oh, it doesn't matter too much. Okay. Uh, yeah, Lang's interregnum. We really don't care about that too much. Right, so let's revoke. He's going to say yes now, unsurprisingly. Thank you. So now Drogon is within our domain. Now, I'm not sure if it has to be your capital or not. I don't want to move our capital to the uh, to the to the Great Arm naturally. Maybe maybe we have to wait till we're 18 first, because that's the same age you have to be to hatch Dragon Egg, right? <laughs> no, maybe we just have to be 18 before we face the Dragon. I'm not entirely sure. We'll wait and see. Um, and of course, tears already. Yeah, hopefully by that time. Oh, chosen by Law. There he is. Um, Var Vargello the Spider um, of the Windblown something. He is chosen by Relore, Azora High Reborn there, so he has a chance of being resurrected, that type of thing, which is a fairly fun mechanic, but nothing that's going to bother us this time around. I, I don't think we want to become Azora High. I don't think it suits the campaign, taking on the Red God's religion to fight off... I mean, it kind of works to fight off Winter, but it's nothing to do with Westeros, is it? It doesn't make any sense. He doesn't come from a Relore household or anything like that. Um, Your Grace, I write on the behalf of the Iron Bank, I promise to expe express the consternation and the actions of the half of our vassal Norothos, issue him a reprimand. Make him pay his debts. It's making them dislike us, but I don't want to piss off the Iron Bank of Bravos, to be honest with you. Um, right, so... Let's check out our vassals and see what we've got going for us. So, we do need to still deal with all these republics, because it's, it's absurd. Like, this is this is nuts, the amount of uh, merch republics we've got under us. Harlot of Winterfell, King's Landing, Winterfell, Pentos, Principality, which we gave to Hell Seaworth. I'd like to get rid of these boys next. A powerful merchant republic within our borders who dislikes us. A traditional... Pentossi Merchant Republic, who is the government, obviously is not ideal there, or ha has the same... Uh, sort of the fallen government that we overthrew, uh, holding out in, in our provinces legally, of course, is, is not ideal. So we do want to get rid of them as soon as possible. Collect some taxes. She's going to gain some stewardship, which I don't really care about. What should we... Can we build anything? We don't really have the gold for it. I think we just need to kill time for a while, don't we? I think we need to wait, try and have an heir for a couple of years, and then head off on that worldwide tour, like Pitbull himself. Well, that's pretty great, though. You are no longer content to rest on your laurels. The problems facing your realm are legion. And clearly, no one can fix them but you. Game the trait ambitious for 50 gold. That's a great deal. 24 stewardship. I'm a big fan of that. Um, we actually do have Dragon Egg as well. So if we can't get Drogon, we can just hatch it. But I was kind of hoping we'd be able to grab him from uh, just kicking around in the Great Arm. Uh, Ebro's Capolade. This is our spy master. We do want to give him a reward then. It's 34 gold for 10 opinion for 5 years. That's okay. That's decent. Plus, he's sort of stopped liking us a little bit there. Why? Uh... Too many held high lordships. I thought that might be the case. Okay, uh, what have we got then that we don't want? Pentos Flatlands. I mean, I want it. I want to keep the Lake of Mirth, but I don't want to. No, I don't want to make any merchant republics. This is too much. If we land either of these people, they become a merchant republic. We could give the Lake of Mirth away and retract something else. So what's our du jour? What is the, what is the uh, Duchy of Pentos supposed to have in it? Um, the Prince is sure. So we could attempt to take that one back. Um, and put these two republics under a feudal vassal instead. Which actually isn't too much of a terrible idea. Yeah, I think that's a much better plan. Because otherwise, ba basically it's a case of either we revoke one title or we revoke two. And when it comes to revoking titles, it's all RNG and it'll take quite a while anyway. So I'm kind of happy to do uh, what I said before. And the question is, do we have any noble houses left within my realm who aren't landed? So we've landed House Stark. We've landed House uh, Seaworth, obviously. Um, house, what about, um, Tali? The house Tali have land. I'm gonna see if we can find someone. How the hell am I gonna find that? Um, I'm just gonna type in Tali and hope for the best. No. <laughs> are there any Talis? There are no Talis at all. The house Tali is gone? Yeah, they are actually gone. Look at that. Holy shit. Ta yeah. No, they are gone. Well, that sucks. Um, who else did we bring over? Obviously, it was like Barris. What about Lannister? Is house Lannister still alive? There is a couple. Yeah, there are quite a few, actually. Um, any within our realm? No. I don't know why he sh Oh, he must have Lannister blood? No, I don't know why the fuck he's there, then. Um, oh, he's got Jamie Lannister's sword, of course. I remember this, guys. The one we gave that sword to so that he would like us a little bit more. Sure. Um, uh, let's try and get a Lannister over here so we can land them, then. Um, they're all hiding in King's Landing. Uh, Tyrion Lannister has two kids. What if we buy a favor? 
seems a lot that we're buying vassals, but uh, I think it's also kind of cool. Um, they're all terrible. We'll look for a high diplomat. I guess it would be Tyrion Lannister. There's also the Justicia. So bribing him over here is going to be fairly difficult. There we go. Um, he's, he doesn't stand to inherit. None of his family are lords or ladies, so we can just buy a favor and get him over here and, and land him. Um, right, so we can... Oh, that's kind of cool. So let's invite to court. Wait, what? Must not be married. Must not have a council position. Oh, shit. Um, well, that's horrible. Improved relations. You can do a lot more with favors in this, huh? You can do a, a huge amount with favors in this. Reduce tyranny. It's possible to improve your reputation and reduce your tyranny. Can we buy a favor with our uh, master of laws to do that? No? What if we send him a gift? Oh, because he's got low opinion of us anyway, because we're a tyrant. Classic. Good old CK2 there. Oh, well, that sucks. Um, are there any other male Lannisters kicking around, perhaps, that would like some land? Cerys is a septum of most devout, so he can't hold land. What about Jamie? General of the most devout. But that's and land whoever she marries. Uh, and then invites... What the fuck do you mean? Must be a close relative. Oh, my God. A fucking... Mu my liege, King Malus is hosting a gathering of lords of the realm to debate... Uh, uh, am I fuck? I didn't press this button. Uh, the dis... Discussions have become rather tense as Lord Freeholder Kalin Obzodios, whom I have an extreme distaste for, regards my words with disdain, dishonoring me. I will not stand for this, you son of a whore. Oh my god. We're in a blood feud. He reacted with equal rage. He drew a steel which prompted all of your men and his to follow in kind. The situation quickly degenerated into a mass brawl into much Targaryen, start Targaryen blood being spilled. Cake and wine. We are now enemies with Freeholder Kalin. We all knew this day would come. We all, we all knew it would come. We are going to take the high city of Velvet. You wait. That is that is ours. So we've already gotten fabricating cleanse anyway. Obviously, that was our, our, our original point. We've got to wipe out these merchants. There's too much. The merchants of Pentos have, have had too much power for too long. I kind of wanted to wait until Babby was formed. Oh, God. Uh, how long? It's three years before we can pick that focus. God damn it. Uh, is there anything else we can do to buff fertility that I, I don't have to wait on? Um, we can equip some books. That's that's fun. Let's equip some goddamn books. Um, none of these give fertility, huh? Um, I guess we just wait and pray. My wife Nissa tells me she's pregnant, but that that can't be right, can it? Doubt besets me. My God. So this is all just because our characters are paranoid shit here. So we could pay ten gold to have someone find out. Sure, why not? It's, it's a possibility. Uh, I very much doubt it though. She got. She's got gonorrhea, which doesn't really give me the highest of hopes here. Um, I don't think it really matters, though. It is. It, this always happens. When your character is paranoid in CK2... There you go, nothing. Okay, oh, that's a relief. We don't care that much. Oh, shit. She's stressed. Is that bad omens? I don't know what that means, but fingers crossed it's going to result in, hopefully, an heir for once in my goddamn life. That'd be nice. What do you mean, Battle of the Prince's Palace lost? We, we raised the half morale and outnumbered them like 10 to 1. Get out of here. Damn pirates? Who is that? Salador San? Not the Salador San. It's like his grandson also called Salador San. Very confusing. Right, we have 12,000 men. What are the realms looking like who neighbor us? So let's go to Bravos. 9,000 men. Novos are the ones I'm worried about because we've had problems with them before. 9,000 men. Actually, we're quite powerful. 15,000. So Mia are looking pretty tough. Those boys are looking pretty tough. I wouldn't want to tangle with them. And I don't think they've got any claims on our lands. No. We haven't got anything they have either. Oh, actually, one of our... Vassals, did he colonize that? Because that's part of the Roinar. I don't know. Anyway, we don't worry about it too much. Um, let's... It's come on a foreign tour. Let's wait for the baby to come out first. Just in case it's one of those goddamn girls I've heard so much about. You close the door to your chamber and as you approach your personal gold coffee, you spot someone hiding behind it. A well aimed kick makes Lord Ebro squirm at the sound of what might be broken ribs and agonies of... Screams of agony. Let him go in exchange for a favor. Now we can see. What can we get for our favor then? Nothing. Um, if he's our Justicia or Seneschal, we could, we, uh, what is that? Character is not, what do you mean? Force him to improve your reputation and reduce your tyranny. Character is not King Malus of Pentos. Oh, so you do that on your liege. I see. Okay, so you use your liege's power within the realm, essentially, to say, hey, this guy is uh, hes actually legit. He's fine. Don't worry about it. It's false rumors and all that. Um, so so we actually can't do that, unfortunately, because that would have been very nice. But having a favor on him is pretty good either way, just in case you want to pass some laws. Good idea. What have we got? First night legal? Well, that sounds worth it. Um, obligations of the council? We could disempower the council. Um, three supports in favor, one against so that we've got 
I mean, let's ignore these fuckers. Right, Ebros of Ebros. Let's go on council support. Do it. And then... Two Lannisters and a Tyrell that I'm hoping will eventually come and join our court. Still can't push it because they're married, unfortunately. Um, yeah, no, none of them are up for that at all. Where's my, where's my other one gone? Uh, what about you? Uh, and her mother is a, a lady there, so I guess she's in line to inherit. Yeah, that kind of sucks. <gasps> okay, let's not worry about that too much. Let's go for the babby first, and then we're going to go on a big old adventure. Oh, no, let's finish off this law, like I said. Um, four in favor, five against, but our vote splits it down the middle. That's five versus five against. Um, I'd like to buy another favor before we do that, so let's take a look. Um, Master at Arms, turn favor to the High Priest. So let's get the High Priest on side. Says no. Send him a gift, then buy a favor. Uh, it also says no. Uh, we could request Count Support and he'll also say no. This High Priest is going to cause us issues. It's not like we can't get ourselves a new High Priest. A cooler High Priest. Um, no, the, no one will like me as much as this guy does. Okay, that kind of sucks. But he does have favors though. Which will clear the way for us to buy favors. What if we send you a gift and buy a favor from you then, my friend? Yes, good, 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 good. I will ask him. We'll try to keep swearing our spy master. We've already got a favor from him anyway, but it's good just to keep the opinion up beyond that. Talk to him in private. An heir. A male heir who's alive. He's wise. Vaymond. You are going to be called Egon. Welcome. I will accept your gracious gift. In the show, they pronounce it Egon. I always thought it was Egon. Um, with a, with, a, with more emphasis on the A sound and less on the less on making them sound like a delicious breakfast treat. Um, let's educate him in thrift. I don't know if Curious and Wise cancel each other out. So Wise is just clearly genius, but uh, edited. Uh, curious. If we use Curious, there is a strong possibility that it can't become shrewd because he's already got a, 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 an intellect-based trait. Uh, he's also very pale. He needs some needs needs his broccoli. So that's why I'm thinking we go for thrift anyway. There we go. Um, what am I talking about? So we also want to finish off doing this uh, garbage as well. So let's call in council support. Boom. And that should now give us a decisive ma majority. Uh, we've got five in favor, not including us. Three against, and one opponent. Oh, oh sorry, three. Oh god, shit. That's first night. <laughs> I wanted to abolish the council. I was going to say the council are surprisingly in favour of that, but no, of course they're not. There we go. Six, six versus four. We've got this one. Including our own vote as well. You are done for. Right, now what I'm going to have to say then is... Oh, shit, we actually provoked him with that. Good one. Um, let's go for have five children. Ooh, we could tame a dragon. Babby or dragon? I mean, that's an obvious choice. I mean, uh, that's, a, that's a very, very easy choice right there. So who do we want to tra train the kid? I mean, we're diligent, so I'm going to actually go for Malus, the King of Pentos, so we get a bit more control over how our air is going to come out. Wait. Where's his trait gone? Hopefully it's one of those that's like, oh, it's hidden till... Oh, no, I remember. Targaryens. Ah, oh, fuck you. So Targaryens can't have congenital traits because they get the coin flip event, don't they? So when they turn five, you flip a coin and then there's a chance of becoming genius or a chance of becoming a friggin' lunatic. So if it's born genius, that sucks. That sucks. I'm not happy about that. Oh well, I guess that's the price you pay. So we don't have to focus on breeding more than we have to focus on. To be fair, I suppose it is a bonus because you can focus on bloodlines, you can focus on claims, you can focus on alliances. And then the game will just occasionally, if you have enough kids, one of them will come out genius. You know, you just gotta, if you throw enough shit, some will stick. Which is probably why they didn't have a baby for so long if we were applying that logic. Um... Pay interest on the behalf of my vassal. Lose 55 gold, gain 10 opinion, and, and, and help the bank out. Uh, no. We're going to issue the reprimand because we're about to go on a foreign tour. Because I'm fairly content to leave it how it is. Uh, designate air title. We're never going to do that. Well, it's never going to happen. And I wish there was a way to disable that specific option. But unfortunately, there is not. Now, this guy needs to go. We're now we're in a blood feud with him as well. I'm going to wipe out his order and stand down. There's nothing I can do. If we got higher council authority at that stage, we could have branded him a traitor. At which point, he would have been forced to uh, force to force to stand down. Let's send you a gift and buy a favor. See if you're up for it as well. He is. Okay. Unfortunately, it's 442. The other two aren't voting. So let's go for calling count support and that forces it through. Okay, that was worth the goal. But unfortunately, we're going to have to save a little bit more now for our, our, our trip abroad. Now, I'm wondering... Because we've got the trip abroad coming up, we're going to a regency. And that's why I wanted to get rid of the council power before we went abroad. Now, I'm hoping... Without that, we're not going to have the issue we had before where the council were constantly sacking each other all the goddamn time and every vassal was pissed off at me, despite the fact that we were a tiny child at the time. So, fingers crossed, now that that's abolished, they can't do anything with that. They still have to wait for our permission. So, we ignore that one. 
Special minor attacks going on. Let's make sure the realm is at tip top, tip, spick, span shape before we get the hell out of here. Um, it's looking pretty good. We've got Dejour claims on the guy and drawing, which I don't really care about. And we can also go to war with Tyrosh. They can't have too many men at this stage, right? Yeah, the Stepstones have very much probably ripped them a new one. Apparently Kohoric as well. Not in Madison, Merchant Republic. Uh, 5,000 men. We could potentially take that back. And I would like to at some stage just as a show of power, essentially. But we'll wait until we get big old dragony boy first, which apparently we can't do. Show me the dragons. Um, yeah, wild dragons. Drogon, Parklon, Rael, Rhaegal. So there are some pretty big old dragons out there. And then there's... Yeah, that's very strange. I wonder why we can't tame them. I think we have to get an option to... Anyway, it doesn't matter too much. Let's, let's save up some gold. Nice. Couple months later there, my wife is pregnant, but I was away, wasn't I? No, you weren't. You, you've literally never left this castle in your whole life. I have thought it over. I cannot be the father of her. You're, you're wrong. You're 100% you're wrong there, pal. You've, you've been in this castle. You've actually never left. You led some troops up to Castle Seaworth and then back down again. That was it. Your vassal lord oh, has been captured, taken as prisoner. These boys are... They, they need to be dealt with. They need to be dealt a decisive blow. We've got bloody pirates. Right, take them down. If they win that, I'm going to be... Why? We had more morale than them and more troops. What do you mean the battle of Pentos we lost? Prepare to die. That's right, Cal. Run back to Shame Isle. The shame of it. That's <laughs> so good that the, the pirate of Shame Isle runs back in fear. There we go. Okay. I, I'm not a fan of that raiding mechanic, huh? Why is it when I go raiding, our troops get smashed instantly by an army half the size? These boys turn up with 400 men and apparently our, our powerful army runs. Good. And that gives, gives me great hope when we go to war. So we did just gain a greedy trait out of that, and Babby has been born. Uh, we did just gain a greedy trait out of that, which obviously good because it's tax modified plus 10%. Diplomacy minus 1, but I don't really care about that too much. Magon, who is another wise... We'd have had two wise kids, and both of them are going to be snatched away. Uh, let's go for Thrift then. A another good reason then for getting Thrift is that he might not even have wise, so getting shrewd might be something. Uh, what was it? So Aegon's brother was called Oris, as in Oris Baratheon, founder of House Baratheon. So we're going to call you Oris. And we've got a Lord Abros again. Friendship is not worth the money. Send him a price. Oh, God, no. Thank God we got Greedy Trait. We want to go on this goddamn Mr. Worldwide tour. Put him on the council. He hates me, so maybe not. Um, Wow, that Jute likes us a lot, huh? Welcome aboard. That's good. We probably just landed, to be honest with you. Look at how much power he's grabbed. He's also got Prince's Shore. I mean, we, do we not? We don't have a claim on anything. We're, this needs to stop. This needs to stop. What, what can I do here? Plot to kidnap him. Plot to kill. Plot to incite revolt. Plot to kidnap him. Let's get our spy master in the capital. Master Ibros. Oh, send you a gift. No. Why do you not like me? Why have you... Oh, because we pissed him off, didn't we? Bring your predecessor minus 12. Decrease council power. It's understandable. Um, so he's probably not going to serve us particularly well. In fact, he might stab us in the back here. We might be we might be Peter Baelished. Um, spoilers for season one, episode eight of uh, Game of Thrones there. Um, let's roll. Let's roll with that. I'm good with that. Hopefully, that's, that's going to give us enough plot power either way. Uh, what are we up to? Oh, 43% when we invite everybody, idiot. It's going to take us up to, there we go, 103%. We could also... Excuse me? There we go. I thought it crashed then for a second. We could also send out some bribes. Like, he's got a couple of people here for the low, low price of 15 gold. Get rid of our mortal enemy. What about the priest? 15 gold. Done. 15 gold for you as well. 15 gold for you as well. Oh, shit. We can actually do this. Okay. Um, I'm going to send out a lot of gold here. So, we're going to spend about 100 gold. Bringing everybody over 10% into the fold. Let's unify our round. This is this is bad. This is too risky. So we want to wait until it's a bit higher percentage than that. Because if he finds out, he can. I believe his spy master can launch a counter attack. Which could end us just right being assassinated. Um, keep this information to myself. So a Sylviax, my cousin. <laughs> Blood of the dragon runs strong with him. Force of Rodar. Um, we can't do anything about that. But you have a dragon rider. Yeah, it's Rael Stark Targaryen, my sister. It's her dragon. She should be the one getting out there talking to the peasants. It's not my fault. Well, I suppose it is, isn't it? 56%. It's not going to get much better than that. I, I assume that that last event popped up before the other people had joined, but no, that's actually as good as it's going to get. It's 56%. We've only got 20% chance of the worst case scenario. That's quite high. That's, I'm not a ga I'm, that, they're not odds I would normally take a gamble on, but let's do it. Oh, as if we got him. As if we fucking got him. So we've got an option here. We kill him dead. How many members of House Obazos are there? Because if we kill him dead, obviously his, his children are going to be livid. 71% chance they're discovered. Oh, we took him in the dungeon. There we go. Excellent. So now we took him in there. No tyranny. We, we don't get in tyranny for that. We already have five. Um, and his family are going to be outraged because we've kidnapped their close kin. But that's war, bitch. Get over it. A blood feud, minus 100. Kidnaps relative. Oh, no. They might dislike us even more than minus 100. Who really cares? Okay, we've got him. Now what can we do with him is the real question. We could revoke the title and they can't do anything. We can call him for trial. Um, seize 
fires the freehold. That would piss people off. If we, we can steal his sword, or steal, it says steal valuable artifacts and seize my sword, but it's actually just taken his book. Not going to do that, because that, that will make us a tyrant. Stealing your vassal's artifacts tends to do that. Um, High City of Velvet Hills. We need to get claims on this. So we're just going to leave him in our prison for as long as possible. L let him rot. Uh, let's not put him in the UBX. We want him alive until we can grab some claims. To begin which, do we have a better diplomat? No. So, oh no, hang on. Better diplomat. No. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if we can hire a better diplomat. Go for the highest claim fabrication possible. Join court, yes. 17. 17. What have you got here? 16. Is it worth pissing off that vassal for one extra point? Of course, well, he gained... It'd technically be 18 because you gain one when you get on the council. Uh, no. We're not going to do that. That's dumb as dicks. So, I guess we just sway him and just keep him there. It's 15% chance yearly. Six years. The guy's old. He's burnt. He's a lunatic. I don't think he's going to last that long. But we can, we'll roll the dice on it. We'll, we'll let it happen. So, Norvos just split into like... Oh, it's a massive civil war, is it? Um, Norvos just split into one, two, three, four, five... Five different factions here. So the bearded priest, now would be a good time to attack them. Remember when they took our shit? 5,000 men. Emancipation of Norvos. We can just straight up... Why can we do that? Um, he's given a chance to surrender when we declare war. If we do that, they implement indentured servitude. I guess they can. we can do that because they declared a slave war on us. Or a war for grabbing slaves. And... Uh, I guess it gave us that as retaliation. We can also take out the seven stars, which should be ours anyway. Or, or was ours until they grabbed it. Let's go, let's get some land. Let's get some land here. I'm, I'm up for a war. I think we need to prove how unified Pentos is by going to war for a province that has nothing to do with us as we just kidnapped our vassals. Nothing says unity like that, in my opinion. So let's just go for the seven stars. Plus, if we help wipe out his troops against the rebellion, the rebellion is more likely to succeed. Or at least it will keep the war going for longer, weakening their realm. Um, it's with our high stewardship, we're going to try and sway our justicia. Marvelous. 15 opinion there. That's very good. Okay. Um, luckily, the seven stars is a, a crappy old feudal. Like, people... Essentially, Andalos is, is very resistant to change things. They've been the same for thousands of years, right? I mean, this is where the Westerosi people came from. And in that time, they built all that crap. Meanwhile, Andalos is sort of gone at this point. So, they're not particularly powerful. They don't have particularly high fault levels or anything like that. Uh, let's go for their troops before the rebels wipe them out. Because that's just war school we're letting go otherwise. Um, ooh, they got more in their capital, huh? That's spicy. Uh, so what can we get with this then? Uh, Toshkal, Yandri, and Tunisio. Let's kill them all. Excellent news. Ooh, 50 gold is nice. We can actually almost go on our foreign tour. We can also betroth can marry. Oh, cool. Okay, so our, our sister can marry Brandon Stark. That's good. Okay. Um... 13,000 versus 8,000. We are attacking into mountains. We are also taking a river crossing, which is not ideal, but it's not in our favor. They are bearded priests, so they are a, a zealot order with big old axes. Kill them dead, boys. I've, I've got high hopes. Nantalos prospers. We are number them too strong. Even with the river, even with the mountains, they can't hold off against that. That'd be crazy. Right, chase them down, kill whatever we can. We actually beat them there because we've got good commanders. Clearly, we're getting a movement bonus from our commanders here. Um, what are you giving us then? Uh, excuse me. Does that not normally give the breakdown when you hover over that? Okay, that guy apparently doesn't give anything. 38% from him and... Oh, because he's an organizer. There we go, that's why. Okay, that, that's actually incredibly useful in this war then. Because they could have, if this rebellion had ended, got enough troops together to be able to stop us. But now we can uh, beat them there. They'll retreat into us and we'll, uh, we'll kill them dead. Morale of armies or levy cells. We go for morale, seeing as we're in the middle of a war. They're going to attack into us and they can't do anything about it because of movement lock. That's where movement lock works well. It makes organizers super, super powerful in the current version of CK2. Mainly because entirely of that. You know, law superior numbers into you, out, outrun them because of uh, organizers. That type of thing. It's, it's very powerful. Right, take the capsule. Good work. Good work, your grace. What? We're opponents of this random dude. Son of... Oh, because he's the son of an emperor, technically. Both his parents were emperors. Sure. Good work. Well, uh, well then, I appreciate that. Stick him in the dungeon. We've taken his family. Now, bearded priest, to my knowledge, aren't allowed to marry. I thought they're only supposed to. Allow, they're only allowed to marry their axe. His bearded priests are forbidden to cut their hair and wear only hair shirts and traditionally wet their axes. Well, she's stubborn, so she might be a bit of a battle axe. I don't know what the deal with that is. I thought they weren't allowed to. I thought it was a theocracy. I mean, it's monastic now, so I guess they're just using the base game mechanics rather than just having it as theocracy, so you can actually play as Norvos. That kind of makes sense. Okay. We are done with this one. These sieges are going very, very well. And let's take these boys out. And that should be it. That, that, sh that should, when we kill these boys, be uh, be said and done with. 
Anar Stark Targaryen. Mostly Stark. He's like 75% Stark at this stage. But uh, we'll let him off with that. Where is he, please? I don't care who you are. All right. You are done. 100%. Thank you. We're, we're getting revenge. This episode has been revenge. We've got revenge against Normos. One of the people I said we would deal with. We've got revenge against Lord Freedold with Callan, who is now in our dungeon. we got revenge against the Lake of Mirth, who lost all their lands due to our horrible snake axe. But this has truly been... The, this has been fire and blood. Cake and wine. The revenge of House Stark Targaryen. And that is a good place to leave it, I think. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. We are back on track. I have high hopes for this series now. This is where we should have started, but hey, we are, we're on it. Took a few episodes to get into it, but I have real high hopes. Just got to get that goddamn dragon. Can we do that now? Can we get the goddamn dragon? No, we can't on a foreign tour, which we'll do next time. So that's something to look forward to. Maybe grab some, grab some gear, get a bit more educated, come in with the best hopes that we can. This guy's only 18 still, right? Oh, he's only 22. So he's still very, very young. We've got him for another 30 years. We might as well make him the best character we goddamn can. And you know who are the best characters? It's the insane top tier level patrons. Sorry, I've got hiccups. I'm trying to suppress them before I read a big old list of names. A thank you goes out to my good friends Justin Wallace, Harik, Alpha Scuff, Asuna Kirito, Atmosis, Average Gamer 419, Daniel, Sedini, Conspiracy, Crazy Pat, Croesus, Escape, Fukunda Vasquez, Haydog, Jimbo, Josh Lindine, Tesla, Michael Mullen, Necrophilum, Powers Presley, Sean Thornton, Smirtworm, Tom Terry 18, Vacuous Backers, Wolfsend, and Zazzy 7011. Thank you all for your support on Patreon. Thank you for keeping the channel alive because it is you guys that keep this channel alive because YouTube, you know, you know how YouTube is in 2019 and all that. And a big thank you as well to Gray, Nathaniel Lindberg, Llewellyn Thomas, Asaro, Betamus Max, Chris, David Van Diepen, Don, Don Conny 2 and 7, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, Genji Zerka, Haji Demar, Hancock, Harry McGowan, Icy the Great, Jay Lehrer, James Barnes, Yoran DeVries, John Holiday, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beer, Justin Plot, Nathan Flores, Matthew, Nick, Panther Pearl, Peter, Sirthal the Swede, Shari, Wolfie, Zico, Adam Person, Sidini, Fraser Brennan, Noah Gallimore, and the Insane Pickle. Thank you all for your support.